Welcome to the B-Side Word. We are back with Maxie this week. Hello, Maxie. Hello. And Dev. Hello. And CJ. I'm not here. And <laughs> I am Emma. And we're a group of friends from around the world who discuss interesting articles. And the first article for this week is about a Tupac loving director. So, guys... The director of an Iowa <laughs> Department of Human Services was so in love with Tupac that it potentially got him ousted. Right? Well, I mean, ousted. So, fired? Fired. fired. Oh. Well, fired. And I say potentially because no one actually knows if that was the cause. But, so this director was in charge of, like, he. W- I guess he had a lot of people beneath him. And that sounds weird when I say beneath him. Oh, are we talking about film director? No. What were their names? No. I said the Iowa Department of Human Services. Yeah, I what know. What do they do? Are they governmental? Government. Are they like yeah. a I guess okay. so. I guess they're governmental. Well, why yeah, would you yeah. say director? Why don't you just say the boss? Well, because <laughs> you might not be. You know, there's different. There's like CEO, COO, blah 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 blah. So okay, the boss. Yeah. But I guess, but it's got people above him. Yeah. Yeah. But okay, so. He loved Tupac and he would like regularly just send Tupac lyrics out <laughs> to his, like all the employees <laughs> by email. Um, no, just I, I can imagine like some plump guy going. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Always CJ to the next level. <laughs> um, very early on. <laughs> Straight away. Just get into it. <laughs> and like he was just trying to, you know, promote a, a good culture and he'd oh, say stuff life. like <laughs> he'd, say, he'd say lyrics <laughs> like um what is it um it's time for us as a people to start making some changes <laughs> i don't know <laughs> that was so wrong but you get the idea <laughs> anyway um this one day Dear mama. <laughs> this one day he sent an email Oh, so a lot of people like liked it, um, but he did have a complaint from someone or whatever. But then he kept doing it regardless. And then one day he sent an email out to f- like over 4,000 employees right, yeah. saying, this weekend is Tupac's birthday. I want you to all celebrate it and all listen to a song of his, please. And the very next day he resigned. So everyone is speculating, <laughs> well, was he, you know, forced to resign or whatever? And was it because of this, because he was like a fanatic of Tupac? Like they would, everyone knew it. Like, so he would have Tupac everything on celebrations. There'd be Tupac cakes. And well, I don't, I don't get it. Why would you get fired? Because I don't, well, see, I don't see a it's problem probably with like it. The, yeah, it's probably like the straw on the camel's back, right? Like the screw on the camel's back. constant. <laughs> Can you stop? Can you stop sending two back emails? Yeah, no problem. Next day, send another one. Oh. Another like one. The entire like, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> we can't do this anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess like, yeah, as I said, like a lot of people were saying like, oh yeah, I like it or whatever. But um, one person or maybe a few people were just like, maybe they just hated to, maybe they were Biggie fans. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they didn't Man, like the yeah. boss because he was spending more of his time looking up two pack backs <laughs> than actually doing his job. Maybe he would have like I think every Friday or something was Tupac listening day. I'm just, <laughs> or no. I'm just imagining if I had that boss, like I'm going. Would up you to like it? Or not? What, what's a Tupac lyric? Not not the not the profanity one, Siege. What's Tupac like? Uh, hit him up. What's hit him up? What's in? That's the basically. Oh, uh, eh, he'll be. <laughs> That's right. Um, what else is there? California love. <laughs> <laughs> California <laughs> love. Oh, man. Yeah, maybe that because they're from <laughs> Iowa, they didn't appreciate that one either. Um, <laughs> he'd have like, <laughs> but yeah, two pack Fridays, music in the <laughs> office, um, Shakur themed cookies, Thug Life decorated on the walls or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just, I don't know. So, so I, so, some guy wants to get shot in a lift. What were you thinking? What, how what were you thinking about when you you saw this? I Why? just thought, I just thought this poor guy. He's he just loves Tupac so how much. About if, how about if he was a Tay Tay fan, and just um um quoted Tay Tay? Uh, he wouldn't be fired then, would he? No, he would have shook it off. <laughs> <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. I don't know. Like, I mean, like, okay, maybe because it's Tupac and. 
like gang issues or something like that, they might feel like it's not appropriate. Whereas Tay Tay, you probably don't have that no, issue. It, w- it was the red suit he was wearing. Or oh. that. <laughs> what red suit? <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you saying because he's blood? <laughs> yeah. Oh, see, that went over my head. But is he blood? Yeah, no. I'm like, oh. Yeah, but we don't I'm know, guys. We don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Are you guys fans of Tupac? I was more of a Tupac fan than Biggie fan until I heard Biggie and then I became a Biggie fan more than a Tupac fan. Yeah, Biggie, oh. Biggie was good. Biggie was, his flow I was unreal. I like both of them, yeah. yeah. Were, you, were you a Tupac or Biggie fan, Ma- Maxi? I didn't, I wasn't one or the other, but yeah, I think same. if you had asked me, I would have said Tupac, I think, but I, mm. uh, not for any good reason, I don't think. Yeah, he was, Tupac was like coarse, like his, his, uh, his flow. Like, no, I think it was smooth. Like Tupac, Tupac. Uh, sorry, Biggie was on more of my playlists, but Tupac I listened to more. If that makes sense. Yeah, it's because Biggie's tunes were like more. Biggie had flow over Tupac. Okay. They were more like Tupac is what you heard before you went to the club. Yeah, <laughs> Biggie's what you heard after you went yeah. to the club. <laughs> or in the club. Yeah, yeah, yeah good. Yeah, all right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Because Tupac would get you all wired up and all pumped. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Tupac made you feel like you're a like a gangster, and then you realize you're like, I'm not a gangster. Nope, not not a gangster. I don't, don't want to live that life. And then you put your love songs back on because we all know you love those. What your love song? Oh, my boys, the men. One twelve. Yeah, you're right. I'm more of a R and B. But um, I don't know. Do you reckon that he should have been fired if he was fired? Okay, first of all, do you think he was fired because of this? I don't know. I just or is it just coincidence? I don't think it's a big dilemma, is it? It's like, this is so hard to say, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, if there's someone that's like obviously doesn't maybe because if he's always sending out two pack like lyrics and stuff and referencing so much, he obviously has an alternative way of running the the show, right? Like yeah. He obviously believes in like different things. It's not just like black and white in terms of like how oh, old school the way he runs it. He's like, I got this new style. So <laughs> it's probably like roughing a lot of feathers just by doing that whether it was just a two bat stuff or maybe you had some weird initiatives like to get people happier other ones yeah so, like yeah and then like slap, is yeah. he is he black <laughs> i'm guessing have you guys ever had any bosses that were like quirky in any way the the boss of the human aspect is i don't know if quirky is the right word but he's definitely completely different to any boss you've probably had before oh like like he's a uh, but it's like a volunteering organization, so I guess like to keep people involved, he's like very engaging. Like, we'll it will all go swimming together. He brings in home cooked food often. What do you mean? Like, we play <laughs> we play games where we try and jump and head head the ceiling. Like, who can jump the highest? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's a very like it just feels like a social so go, environment. <laughs> I'm still stuck at you all go swimming together. Where do you go swimming? Like in, in your the off- beach? In oh, like you all the, go to the we'll beach. just go out to the beach and we'll go swimming or. You know, it's and you try and hit like, your head um, on the roof. That's like what Alexander did, and, and he nearly chopped his head off with the fan. Right? It's the same. Size. Do you like oh, yeah. that? Do you like that kind of boss, Maxi? Do you like that boss that engages with you yeah, and like, wants to like sort of be your friend? Yeah, I think uh, it depends on like. There's some like I don't know because I chose this organization because I like the people. So all yeah. of them engage, and when people come in and try and engage and it doesn't work, then they don't stay around. So it's like. It works, but if in my current job as an engineer, if the boss tried to engage a lot of me <laughs> and I didn't get on with him too well, yeah. I'd just be like, can you just like let me do my job? <laughs> do you know what I mean? So it depends completely on yeah. who it, who's trying to do the engaging. Yeah. But the can- difference is like with the human aspect is it was built from people that get on well together, not yeah, the other okay. way around. Yeah. Do you know I mean, it wasn't like, we ha- obviously we have an objective of what we're trying to do, but the most important thing, especially because not everyone's getting paid is... Like everyone has to get on well in the office yeah. and we build and we like support each other. Whereas in the other one, like that's what you said. Like it, I think it, it came from a place actually where it w- might have been quite similar to that, where there were a group of friends that started off, but they merged with these, some very big corporations and these big, co- big corporations don't have the same like culture. They yeah. tried to have it, but they can't do it. Like, yeah. You just can't do it. Yeah. When you go and recruit someone from a different country, who's like very good at what they do and going to make you a lot of money. You can't say to them, you're not joining us because we don't get on with you well enough. Like That just yeah. doesn't happen anymore. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You so, see those yeah. companies and they're like on TV and stuff and they their whole office space 
culture. You got skateboarding through the office. Yeah, I don't know like, about that. that. Google. I don't know about that kind of stuff. Does Google have that? You don't know like, about yeah, that stuff. Google the yeah. one that you can have a nap in between the day. I think it's like it's yeah, a lot like, of companies that can have a nap. I wish I could have a nap. What do you mean? There's a lot of kind. I think they're pro like pro nap. Yeah, it's <laughs> like um, it's not why I work. It's like a, it's a thing. <laughs> That's what, what I work is no pro nap. Okay, let's do your article, Dev. So my article this week is a uh, a fashion topic. Ooh. It's a fashion topic, and um, it's uh, what you would wear <laughs> in space. Okay. <laughs> Firstly, I don't Ooh. actually really think that's a fashion topic. Is space it fashion? Something, is it something you wear? But okay, it depends how we define fashion. Like some clothes you wear. Is it? Or is it? But, <laughs> Dev's okay. definition of so fashion it's, is brilliant. <laughs> it's like a uniform <laughs> for a purpose considered fashion, or is fashion considered a culture? I don't know. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, <laughs> you can let me answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, in case, you, in case, in case I'm totally wrong. <laughs> wow. Go go. <laughs> what was the question again? Is fashion a culture? Well, not a culture, but like fashion for like you know, fashionable clothes versus clothing as a uniform or a way to survive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it can still be, is we can still be stylish, even though it's a uniform. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, this article is not talking about stylism. Oh, well, I'm <laughs> That's a made up word. Well, I'm I don't know. Stylism? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I had a look at your article, Dev. Yeah. Stylism? And, um, <laughs> and it was talking about, yeah, like, what do you basically wear in space? And it was referencing the. Do you, did you guys hear about the what was supposed to be the all women's, uh, the very first in history all women's crew into space, like space mission? No. Oh, no. mm. Maxi. Yeah, it was yeah. quite recent. Um, basically, it was going to be two women, I think. Um, probably more. I don't know. It was going to be all women, but it had to be cancelled. Um, a week or two out of the mission because they didn't have the available spacesuits for the women. Hold on. So they had a plan to send all women up to space and forgot to make the suits. So basically wow. <laughs> that's what I thought when I when I first heard of it. I thought that If I was that boss, that guy who forgot, he's getting fired. What two pack lyric would you have? I forgot for two. Okay. I want to go to two back songs <laughs> and I'll, I'll come back. Okay. But I originally song, smacking someone. <laughs> <laughs> well, I originally thought that's so. I actually was like, that's ridiculous, blah, blah, blah. But now I'm more educated on why they couldn't just make the suits. So, um, back when Neil Armstrong, if he was the first man on the moon, um, was, you know, going to the moon and stuff like that, they did the spacesuits like for the individuals. So they'd mold the spacesuits to them um, individually. However, now, I've got yes. the lyric. Go. I am mad at you. Oh, <laughs> but you are mad at them. Okay. I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be so many tears after I slap them. <laughs> so anyway, there's a simplistic system now, um, which they call a hardware system. And they basically make all the different components separately or whatever. And they make it easy for the astronaut to be able to put on their spacesuit, maybe, to know what they're putting on, when, where, whatever. Now, the spacesuit can take ages to make. For example, a pair of gloves might take five months. Hmm. So to be able to just make women's suits in time wasn't going to happen. So mm -hmm. apparently they've got more more people lined up to take the place and it's easier to just swap the people in and out than to get the correct suits. So the woman that wasn't able to go on the mission needed a medium suit, something like that, medium torso, whatever, and they usually also mm -hmm. take a backup, but the backup was a large or whatever. So it just didn't fit her and she could die. Okay. So what you're saying is they need to take two suits and they made one medium they didn't make it. They just had it available. So they don't make them for the individuals. They have the spacesuits in certain sizes or whatever. But wouldn't you, when you're getting them made... Why would you ever make an beach? odd number of medium suits? 
Yeah. <laughs> who's who's the person walking around going, I'm taking all the mediums? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And, oops, I forgot one. <laughs> do, I do don't you guys join do, do, do you when you played football? And then you have different size shirts. It's like, who's wearing 35? Who's wearing... Someone would run in and they always grab like the shirt that they want first. No matter yes. if they're starting or even if they're going to like, this must be happening in NASA. The guys are turning up and just taking <laughs> what they think they might need in the future. <laughs> you don't even need it now. Give me my shirt back. Talk, <laughs> talking about Max, you know the kits, the last um, soccer club. Oh. That we, the last soccer club we played for, right? Everything was large or extra large. I was like, what the freak? What the freak? They're, they're just like, catering <laughs> to everyone. <laughs> Ever. So we've got these baggy, oh, baggy like everyone's shirts. everyone's just going in a dress. And like it was sometimes below just, I could just see this much of my shorts. I was hold like, hold this hold is on. massive. What the freak? Come on, baggy. <laughs> <laughs> that took Deb a few seconds. That took, that took me. Did you get that, Max? I didn't, I didn't hear it. What? CJ said it, that wasn't baggy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but the... um. The designer of the uh, the spacesuits, like um, I, I guess her dad was an astronaut as well. Wherever she loves doing it, but she it was like interesting because they said they have to consider so much with the spacesuit. You're not just making it for when they first go on their mission because when you're in space, your body changes. For example, your spine, like you get taller by like an inch or two so because your space. spine straightens out yeah. and stuff like that. So they have to make sure that the suit can like fit. From beginning to end. Yeah. Well, the one and two suits, whatever. But if you've seen those suits, it's basically like a mobile scuba suit. Yeah. Like it's huge. Yeah. Mad. A mo- what? A mobile scuba suit? That's what they call it. Because it's like got your What's scuba it? helmet, like with the round helmet thing, if you yeah. look at the picture. But you've got to be able yeah, yeah. to Actually, be mobile. Uh, okay. what? Yeah, but the scuba suit's... You, you're able to move still. No, if you're... but the scuba suits, it's like just weighs you down to the bottom of the floor, right? Or is that the oxygen pressure thingy? I, 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 know, I, think, I think I, I know, I know what you're the boots. talking about. Oh, I thought the, the whole point when you go scuba diving is you're mobile. But do they have like a big <laughs> air vent going into those scuba suits under the... I don't know. I don't know. I'm literally just going with what they said. They said it's like a mobile suit. Well, they're, they're the NASA suit. engineers, right? We'll just yeah. listen to yeah. them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a mobile scuba suit. Doesn't get wet. <laughs> Got my vote. <laughs> Waterproof as well. <laughs> Important in space. <laughs> what I don't get is if you've seen the size of their gloves, here's a picture of the lady trying on. It's in the article, Maxi. If you scroll mm. down the page, uh, well, there's one lady here trying on the suit. Those gloves, how do you do like the intricate, you know, turning a bolt or like fixing something with those massive gloves on? Man, we we have we have to wear well the like the high voltage live line is they it's probably equivalent to that. The what? the bolts. Uh, like the, the gloves. Their gloves are like they have the rubbers, rubbers on, they have the inners on, and then they have Man, they have special tools to put like um, pin clips in. So they've got this tool that you, you attach it, the pin clip to the tool and all they have to do is <laughs> shoot and then release. And I'm pretty sure they've astronauts have got tools like that as well. They won't they won't try to use You don't the, need like fine motor skills. Yeah. They won't try to they like have a screw. They have a screw in their mouth whilst they're like <laughs> waiting to find the hole. And they put it back out and slip it in. <laughs> they lift their mask up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's only a couple of seconds. <laughs> what could you imagine? Like you're in this big suit and you get an itch somewhere. Like, what? No, because like, honestly, if you have that, an itch, that's that a serious can't... problem they considered. I, I'm so sure they see it. that's the problem they have. Yeah, considered. because like there's literally nothing worse than an itch that you can't scratch. It's just funny. It's just like, like, have you ever oh worn? A, have you ever had a cast? I have. Yeah. I have. And it was like from toes to my. You get a ruler. Pel- pel- no, yeah, mine went not, up to they're here. They're not getting a ruler in the suit, are Mate, they? I'll be rubbing up against walls going, come on, come on. I'll be like a little dog. One of those <laughs> Imagine like, if the long was like right you there on your face or something. I'll be headbutting the wall going, go, go, go get this. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure when they're in the ship, they can take the stuff off, can't they? Yeah, I'm just thinking when they're in their suit on a mission. <laughs> well, minute warning. Um, see how you said this wasn't fashion? Can, can you just... Tell everyone what the website is. What website? That you're reading this article oh. from. 
Can you just say, because you said this wasn't a fashion article, <laughs> can you just tell everyone where this is, uh, article is oh, being read crap. from? Yeah, this is on Vogue. <laughs> <laughs> What's Vogue? <laughs> fashion. It, it's a pose you do. <laughs> a oh, fashion wow. magazine. I take it back. It's space fashion, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll leave fashion. it at that. Look at these boots, mind you. They're weird. They go back at the back. But um, I just I googled about the itch and it said um, Phil West, uh, like one of NASA's uh, astronauts, said that um, itches are often the least of your worries. But when you have an itch on your face, there's a microphone in the helmet which you can kind of <laughs> lean on and use as a improvised <laughs> scratch post. <laughs> oh my! I told you because like imagine it's just there that itch or just like. Could you imagine like the people on the other side and all they hear is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's your face again, <laughs> and, and then some grunts of satisfaction as well. You know, like, oh, <sighs> yeah. oh my God. <laughs> oh goodness gracious! Remember when we were going to Perth, and Perth has um the the planes in is a smaller aircraft. It's not the... Yes. And the way that this person took off, I was just like, what the freak? Are we in a rocket ship? He just went... And he just went vertically up (laughs) as fast as he could. And I was like, oh, this is cool. We're just just (laughs) facing up now. (laughs) What the hell? You were panicking, weren't you? I was. (laughs) I've never been in a flight where then all of a sudden he just starts going, you know what? I've had enough of this. (laughs) This uh, altitude. Yeah, altitude. This slight elevation. I'm just going to go all the way up. At once, bang. And I was like, oh, man. I don't know, I, maybe I was on a different flight because I don't remember that. You, you were next to me. Was I freaking out? No, <laughs> you were next to me. <laughs> you know what it could be? Because the plane is smaller. It felt like it was a higher incline, but then they're bigger. Oh. oh. I don't think so. Yeah, it is probably. Oh. There is a lot of uh, things. I just, I, just go- <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just Google like what determines the takeoff angle. And I got like, this PhD paper on it. So, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Can you give us a quick uh, it, conclusion? <laughs> it got no to, quick conclusion. A mathematical solution to the optimum takeoff angle. Oh no! <laughs> this is in long jump. <laughs> oh what? <laughs> the angle of your takeoff during long jump? <laughs> what the hell? And why is there a whole PhD thing on it? <laughs> Who the hell wrote that? Oh gosh! <laughs> I, th- I might read that later. That looks interesting. <laughs> He's, ju- he's going to be jumping for more distance. Okay, Dev, what's your next article about? My next article is about um, an app that shows mm-hmm. other people around you's debt or that people that are in debt. It's like this gauge. Can anyone download this app? In China, I think. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. And um, yeah, I thought it was interesting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you think it was interesting? Would you like me to expand on A that? little bit. <laughs> no, no, no. I want to hear his pers- perspective. <laughs> my my first thing was right. If you If I saw you or you down the road and all of a sudden I saw my app that like it alerted me that you had or maxi that you had debt right then you owed money i'm like how am i how am i approaching this person and saying you you, broke you're you you owe money like how am i why am i doing that why would you want to know okay to be perfectly honest here like what kind like this app what is it for? <laughs> okay, so Dev doesn't really know the ins and like, outs. No, I don't know. <laughs> like you meet a girl and she's like know. hi how are you and you're like get on on me That'd be a good. Actually, that'd be good. She's in debt. I'm out. Yeah, <laughs> actually, that's a good. Oh. That would be good, man. No, because well, make... then girls be looking at it too, like, oh, he's in debt. I'm out. <laughs> or you got good credit, and it's like I'm with him. Oh man, that's bad. Because but then, then she only has for credit. Yeah. Then you don't trust people around you because yeah. you're like, is she with me just because my credit's good? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is shite. Okay, so basically, <laughs> it's the Chinese government along with their whole social justice thing that they are trying to implement by next year, has now developed a mobile app 
which if you're within 500 meters of a debtor, it displays it on your um, phone. But not only does it display it, it gives you their something like their name, their um, like ID, national identification number, whatever right. it is, which is ridiculous. That's another whole thing. Um, and then you are expected to, or if you want to, you can then call them out. So you Frog would, bastard. <coughs> so you don't go up to them personally. You would just publish that information and them to publicly shame them online. I don't know about that. I know. I don't know about right. that. So I think they're testing this one out first in in the north in North China's Hebei province. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. Um, and um, yeah. So as I was saying, it goes along with their um, it's a social credit system which scores people based on how they act in public. But yeah. now it's all encompassing of yeah, um, your finances and everything else. Um. So yeah, if you did, if you came across someone, you could report it to authorities and be like, "Hey, I just came across a debtor, yeah. whatever." And that person is gonna lose points from the scoring system. This is black. Mirror. This is like black, this is black mirror. mirror all over again. It's hold on, hold on here. So if you're in debt, you lose points for being in debt. Mm. It's not just debt. <clears throat> a person's score can be lowered if they do things like play an excessive amount of video games or post fake news. On the other hand, a social credit score can be raised by things like volunteering or donating blood. Yeah. So there's so it's a like it's a measure of how good you are as a person in this society. Is, yes. This is fake. What Just do you mean? Build, make, like you're building a fake society. <laughs> and, well, that they're, they're basically going to be able to control. They're actually going to be able to mani- and manipulate a society to how they want because now people are going to start acting differently. Um, this because, is Black Mirror. Yeah. So wow. um, why being racist for? Why can't I be a White Mirror? Because that's that's <laughs> that's the Netflix <laughs> series. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, be colorblind to mirrors, man. All right. <laughs> what, it's what designed to like. It's designed to like. You treat all mirrors equally. <laughs> it's 2019, Dad. Man, all right. I don't see color. I just see mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see the man in the mirror? I don't get it, Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh my oh, gosh! All right, next. So this system is basically. Um, it's supposed to value and engineer better behaving people yeah. by establishing a score of the 1.4 billion citizens, mind you, and awarding the trustworthy and punishing the disobedience. So you might rock up to get on a train or get on an airplane and you've been banned. You've been placed on their list of untrustworthy people, which is what happened to this guy called Mr. Lou. He was placed on a dishonest <laughs> personnel <laughs> list. It's a good CJ, did you laugh at his name? <laughs> <laughs> it's a very did you common... just laugh at a man's name, CJ? <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> Huh? He did. You only, only see mirrors my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I now see Lou's. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what I hear, Mr. Lou? I, 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 straight away, the Simpsons came in Mr. Plow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Mr. It's Mr. Plow, <laughs> that's my name. <laughs> I don't know Mr. Plow. <laughs> Mr. Lou, oh, wow. that's my name. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my god! Uh, do you know what I was saying? One of those toilet cleaning ads. <laughs> <laughs> Mister. Mister Lou. <laughs> what is it, Mister? If, if you use his first name, it would have been a right. Like if it was Stephen Lou, he'd be like, okay, Stephen Lou. But Mister Lou sounds like an ad. <laughs> well, I don't know his first name. <laughs> like my name is James Lou. Like, oh hi, James. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> you know? But Mister Lou. <laughs> Every, These two. every podcast, every podcast. All right, go, go, go. Okay, so he was say, put on this list. He t- he like turns up to get on a flight, whatever, and he's been banned, so yeah. he can't do it. Um, and the reason he was placed on that list is because of a <laughs> defamation lawsuit that he lost back a few years ago, and the court ordered him to pay a fine. He didn't pay it, but apparently he never knew that he had to pay this fine, whatever. Um, so now he can't stay in star-rated hotels. He can't buy a house. He can't go on a holiday. Um, he can't put his daughter through private school because of this being placed on this list, which he was also never informed that he was like placed on the list either. Um, but this is the way it's going. Um, and there's also sort of like dozens of like pilot social credit systems that have been popping up. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. Here, and everywhere. I know. So I there's don't one. Know how I feel about that's this. in the eastern China uh, 
city called Suja, whatever, and you get every resident, there's a scale between zero to 200 points and every resident starts off at a baseline of 100 points. Yeah. And um, you can either go up or down. So I think the person with the highest amount of points is at 134 and it's because he donated like a liter of blood and like did 500 hours of volunteer work or something like that. So, it's crazy. So you pretty much, you can be bad as long as you volunteer and give blood. You'd be like, oh, I've done my, I've done my good thing, so now I'll do something a bit naughty yeah. for this week okay. type thing. I don't understand. But it. Well, like, if you could committed like a mass murder but donated like a lot of blood, would you be? Fine? I don't think that even out. Why not? But, no, no, but if you can get, if you can <laughs> get, well, it's, it's the lowest point is zero, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if you do a mass murder, you hit zero. Uh, this guy got thirty-four points for donating blood and volunteering. Yeah. So just donate. 10 times more blood and volunteer 10 times as much, you'll be back on 200 in no time. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. There's so many flaws in this system. Do <laughs> that's some charity work? I don't know how the system blood. works, but go. that's how I saw it. Well, I think... <laughs> if you mass murder like, someone, um, you got a lot of blood you can donate. I think a lot of private companies are mass starting to do people. their own systems as well. So like with um, like registration plates type things they can see whatever data in this they can see whatever and they if they amalgamate everything together by next year which is what their hope is then they have this mass collection of just data everyone's data did um, you did you hear about the um the old uh the app that turns you old maxi <laughs> yeah apparently the data <laughs> being collected from that is going to russia yeah did you hear that yeah yeah but do you know what the scary do you know what the scary part is no what no nope. I thought that in was pretty terms scary. terms of conditions, no, well, Russian go on your Facebook and take a picture if they want, right? Yeah. Like you, most of the pictures you put on there, you're gonna you're gonna share on your Instagram anyway. So it's like, that's not that's no, not the scary not. part. Yeah. <laughs> okay, unless you're CJ, but CJ <laughs> doesn't have the app either, so it's all good. <laughs> but anyway, the scary part is in the terms and conditions. It says if you put a picture, like if you post the picture with our app, you are accepting that we can take. We now own all the pictures in your photo album on your phone. What? what? So they're allowed to have access to all those pictures and then they are then allowed to use them however they want forever. Oh, wow. But how do they access your photo album? Because you have when you go on the app, it says allow, allow access to photo album so they can take the picture that you want to turn old, but then they're also allowed to take any other picture according to the terms and conditions. Because so many of the celebrities did it. Like, yeah. really, like I saw so many pop up in my feed. Do you reckon they even read the terms and conditions? Who reads the terms and conditions? Nope. No one. Who Some reads And that? now they've Someone. all like employed their lawyers like, oh my God, okay. what do I, I do? I, I imagine the 16 pictures that they've got by now. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Oh my God, Russia could use it against them. It's like... Blackmail. Yeah. Or whitemail. <laughs> <laughs> 2019. 2019. <laughs> Rainbow just, yeah. mail. It's, it's mail. <laughs> It could, <laughs> no, it could be female. That's not. It could be female. Equal opportunity. <laughs> Everyone's equal. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen the images of like, um, I don't know, through a Google search maybe. I've got one here um, of how their facial recognition system looks like. This is in a, just a shopping mall. Yeah, but there? people people have to uh, actually, like, why why would you do this? Like, Who? like, why would you accept this as a? As, you don't. As they don't have a choice in China. Sure, you can. You, it's social justice. If you don't like um, involve yourself in this um, practice, it doesn't work. You don't get a choice. There's CCTV How, everywhere. What, what's, what's the suggestion to stop involving yourself in this process? Like, wear a mask. If the police come, if the police come and arrest you because you don't get involved, then you're in jail. <laughs> like, this is a kind of. This fault, is, and then this when is oh. people protest, they app. get hosed down. Oh, this is separate. Um, your app is one thing that oh, is sorry, a part sorry, sorry. of this whole social yeah, yeah, yeah. credit justice system. Yeah. But you don't have a choice if you're walking through the shops. They've got, they have cameras everywhere. Masks. Like, as an individual, it's very hard to to do anything about this. But as like a, if the people come together well enough, then potentially you can do something about it. But it's going to, it takes a lot of like, a lot of management, a bit of yeah. luck. Like in the same what's happening in the Middle East now, like with the Arab Springs, like, it's very hard to overthrow people that are just trying to control you and they have all the information. They have the police on their side. They have the military on their side. Yeah. Like, what That's do you what do? That's what they mean. That's what they were saying. Information is power. Yeah. They have all your information. What are you talking about? The Dubai thing? Arab Springs? Like, just multiple countries in 
the Middle East trying to overthrow dictatorships. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, I thought you were talking about the um, a specific thing, like the royal, the princess, the 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 wife and princesses of the Dubai king. Is he called king? Sheik, I think. The sheik. Sheik. He shake it off. <laughs> I knew you were gonna. Do, I knew you were gonna do that. I knew it. I knew it. You Everybody beat, knew I was gonna do you that. You beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you did the hundred meter one. <laughs> you, um. So yeah. Um. It's just scary. It I don't scary. know. We are very lucky that we are not living like this. However, my fear is that this whole I mean, social credit thing I mean, will the work poli- for the, the police. Chinese government. The police have information when your um when they scan your uh, rego rego mm. plate. They they know everything that comes. They up. know, but it's not going to affect you if you go to a mortgage house and say, or a bank or wherever, and say, and they say, sorry, you can't get one because of you because you were uh, you did uh, you played too much video games. Yeah, that's what. That, <laughs> all right, so that's why it's like pissing me off. Now I understand why it's pissing me off. So like, if your credit, right, if you can't get a home loan, it's because you have shit credit, right? That mm-hmm. makes sense. If you haven't paid off a loan, then you can't get another loan, mm-hmm. right? It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be um, if you went to jail, like I don't know how I say it. If it's something like something totally different, if you, um, uh, if you had, a, if you stole something, they're not gonna say all of a sudden you can't get credit to buy a house. Like if it was a misdemeanor, like if you just stole a scarf or something, they, they, might. they, they shouldn't stop you. They do a criminal check on you, and it's not even just um, financial. That can affect you in, in like. That can affect us here. Like your criminal record also affects things like that. Can yeah. affect things oh, like that. This, oh man, yeah. I don't know how to explain but that. Um, but what, what don't mean. affect it is video games. Like here yeah, we can sorry. play as much yeah. video games as we want, everyday. and that's not going to affect me getting the yeah. loan. Just because you're a douchebag, it's not going to affect you. Basically, right? That's that's it. Well, God, yeah. So the guy who plays video games is a douchebag now. Yep. No, but Ouch. I was thinking of other stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also, it's not just affecting them financially. <laughs> <laughs> They're being punished with, like, they can't even go on holiday. They can't. Oh, so they, as video game players can't go on holiday. <laughs> they can't get yep. a train. <laughs> oh, I can't even catch a train. They can't yep. stay in a hotel. <laughs> oh, right. poor Mr. Lou. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you can't. <laughs> That's my name. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's freaky. And if it works for the Chinese government and they get all this uh, power, then will other countries. No. St- Did you guys hear? Maybe you did, Maxi, because you've been into chess recently a lot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a grandmaster in chess, right? Yeah. Has been accused. So, again, like Tupac Guy has been accused and not officially, like, it's not official. Like, they didn't, what do you call? They call him. They don't know 100%, but he's been accused of cheating using his mobile phone, his smartphone in yeah. the toilet. And um, so it's Igor's Rausis, a Latvian chess player. And I guess someone maybe placed a camera in the toilet cubicle or... <laughs> what creepy person, like in all honesty, I Is don't think he should be in trouble. The person that placed a <laughs> camera in the bathroom should be in your, trouble. Was that your ex-boss? <laughs> Is that your ex boss? Let's put that camera in there. Well, this is the thing. A well, fo- eyes on me. <laughs> a photo was leaked of the guy on sitting on the cubicle, uh, like sitting on the toilet, like closed toilet lid on his smartphone. And this was during the tournament. Okay. Now, when Maybe he came, he was reading an article. When he came out, <laughs> he he said that he admitted that it was his phone. And so all mobile phones are banned in these. Um, like, oh right. These. World. Well, he was. It was a tournament in France, but I guess it's like a high up tournament. So you, you you even go through metal detectors in some places just to make sure you're not you're <laughs> so not going to smuggle his phone in. So you could smuggle your phone in before the tournament and hide it in the bathroom, perhaps. Right. So it's a bit iffy that he, yes, it was his phone and it was in the bathroom. And then not only that, right? The officials have like now got this software which they use to monitor when a player suddenly has like a spike in their performance or like they're us- like they're using unusual moves or their trends are different for their usual play. Yeah. Um so they've been using this software and ob- and it showed that he had a, a significant spike. Yeah. Um in his play. Ah. Yes. Maybe, maybe he's more relieved after he pooped. 
<laughs> yeah, it just cleared his mind, right? Yeah. Bit of an angry bird is a great way to clear the head. <laughs> yeah, he went on his phone. He he decided I want to read the paper, Man. read an article. <laughs> That's interesting. It's got that that um that app is pretty interesting. Like everyone's sort of measuring or measuring or observing how where you're playing. But that, does that mean you can never ever change your playing style? That's is that what, what they're I was saying? Thinking no. I, it, like, but sometimes if you get a computer to decide the next best move, it can seem so like counterintuitive, but be like a really good move. Like it will just take you in a direction, which is like in chess, most like up until the first 20, 30 moves, often it's just like theory. Like everyone knows what moves comes next. It's like, that's the best position for white or black. Yeah. And then you get to like a level where it's like, okay, now it's, uh, you know, the, there's like humans can think like five, 10 moves ahead, but computer can think like 50 moves ahead. Right. You know, so oh, the computer might okay. make a move which you're like that is a really bad like why would you go like back there obscure. you're like trapping you're clean you're ruining the like freedom of your bishop blah, blah blah but then all of a sudden some other moves pop out and if that happens like two or three moves later like fair enough but if it happens like 10 moves later then it's like oh how, you didn't see 10 moves later that was gonna become like a thing right oh that's interesting we can only see five steps ahead but ai oh, will see like 50. you can't I can't even see two <laughs> steps ahead. <laughs> I, got, when I've I play, I probably one, see two or three steps ahead maximum. Kid. I can trick my kid with this uh, uh, yeah. checkmate in four, and that's it. <laughs> and once he learns how to counter that, I'm like, oh, I'm all out. <laughs> Which child? <laughs> all, like, all three of them. Yeah. Yeah, like there's other ones that will see much, like Magnus Carlsen, for instance, will see more than three moves ahead. He will see, like, once the, it depends obviously on the complexity of the board at the time. Like, but sometimes you get, like, when you play it on the website called Lee Chess, it says, like, there's a mate in in eight moves, they'll be mated, and there's nothing they can do about it. Like, I wouldn't wow. be able to see that, but, like, Magnus Carson will be able to see that. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's. That's insane. There's nothing you can do. When I move here, you have to move here. When I move here, you have to move here, blah, 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 and then you're going to be mated. Bloody hell. So he's, he's, he's like that guy that plays like uh, four four people at once at the park. Is he, he, did like it, he done it blindfolded, champion? four people, three people at once, timed on stage, and he beat them all. Oh, and they're wow. all like very good players as well. Who's wow. Yuri uh, Garrett? Uh, I don't know. I've heard uh, it now. I don't know who he is. Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. Because it says Yuri Garrett of the World Chess Federation revealed on Friday that officials had been closely following a player for months after using that software. Don't want to be a player. I like I like how they um investigators they do that. They they go a player, but everyone else know who <laughs> who the player is, but they're like the player in question. <laughs> they're like, but we know who it is. <laughs> Just use his name. <laughs> but anyway, obviously this is not on the same sort of level as um, like doping or whatever, but for the chess world, it's a uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know it's not on the same level as doping? It is. That's what basically. it says. It's cheating. Yeah, it's cheating. That seems like that seems that's like if someone cut a corner in a four hundred meter sprint. Yeah. Or I'll say it's worse than doping. Or in a marathon, just cut through the halfway through the that's marathon. What they do. Oh yeah. But it's not illegal. It's just unethical. It's not illegal to <laughs> to cheat. <laughs> ah, I'm like a line. Oh, call me very creative of you. <laughs> well done, gold medal to you, sir. <laughs> marathon, <laughs> marathon to start. I call an Uber. Get I mean, me to the finish line. I mean, I'll be done. I mean, <laughs> you get the gold medal. It was unethical how you got it, but here, <laughs> it's, they're not going to do that, are they? It was quite unethical how he mined the gold as well. So you know, potato, potato. <laughs> I'm going to the Olympics. <laughs> yeah, what I said totally just didn't make sense. <laughs> I could have had, you know, the 400, instead of running the whole thing, I'll go backwards and go, I won! <laughs> I'll <stand back. laughs> That was a smart way to do it. Now, let's be honest. The 400, you probably still lose. <laughs> <laughs> I'll trip over going backwards. And hurt yourself like, ow! <laughs> oh, poor <the> hammy. <laughs> All right, everyone, thanks for watching this week's episode of the B-Side Word. Make sure if you enjoyed it to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe and drop us your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the bell, hit the bell.
Hit the bell, hit the bell. bell.